friends, welcome back. I'm excited for this video. Diving right in, I'm gonna take you along as I do different fall-related baking and cooking. Basically just picked up my camera and filmed when I thought that it would be something you guys might enjoy. Hopefully it gives you some inspiration. So if you're new, my name is Lynette. I'd love if you would stick around and hit the subscribe button. So I'm making pumpkin sourdough scones and I put half of this recipe in the freezer so I could bake it later, but this was a great fall dish to do and it's something that you can do, you know, ahead of time. You could pop it in the freezer and then pull it out to bake. If you're having friends over, you're going somewhere, it's, it's just a really, a really easy recipe and the biggest tip is just to not over mix it. So I find that scones are something that you need to eat pretty much right away. Uh, they don't really hold their flavor or their consistency beyond like the first day or so. You can eat it, but it becomes, becomes a bit more like chewy or cake-like, I guess. And I really like them fresh, so that's why I put some in the freezer. So this dish is a grilled chicken caprese. I did not grill the chicken, so I just did it in my pan. There's a few things that I might change on it next time. I think my balsamic got a bit thick or kind of sticky. Maybe that's just how it acts, but it was kind of my first time working with it. And yeah, the flavor was great. I would definitely recommend you try it. Uh, just be careful to maybe not let the balsamic cook too long or like sit in the pan. I think that would be the only thing I would have to say about it. Next, I'm making a cheeseburger soup, and I'll try to have this one written out in the description box. If I didn't mention before, I guess, all of the links to recipes or information can be found underneath the title of my video. There is a description box, as we call it. So I'll do my best to have the information there for you. This cheeseburger soup is just a very yummy fall soup. So this part, I actually messed up just a little bit with the soup. I was supposed to saute the vegetables a little bit and I didn't really. I put like my potatoes in right away, but it worked itself out. I just kind of 
had to simmer it a little while longer so definitely make sure you check the recipe to get it right <laughs> but yeah it's such a cozy comfort food So I want to thank Walnut Creek Foods for sponsoring today's video. I've worked with them for a couple years, as a lot of you all know, but I will have their information in the description box. They are based in Holmes County, Amish country, and I have shown you guys their stores in person several times already when we make our trips up there. They have a whole variety of bulk food, deli, they have meats, cheeses, they have a cannery. They bake a lot of things for their bakery items. They also have like a home decor section in the store. They have a cafe at their Walnut Creek location. It's definitely a great place to stop at if you're in the area. And they also have a second location in Berlin. But their main thing is that they will ship out these items to stores across the United States. So they do have an online website you can shop at. Uh, you can use my discount code Lynette Yoder for 10% off your online order. They have a wide variety of things there and I've done that some myself. But you'll find things occasionally in bulk food stores, convenience type stores or grocery stores, things like that. Uh, if you don't know of any around you, just keep your eye open for the, you know, the little label on there. I think they're in the process of changing over the label so they'll look different. Uh, but I love what the company stands for and they do, you know, as many of things as they can themselves as far as production and like manufacturing, but they don't do all of that themselves. However, it's just an amazing plant. I've been privileged to walk through it and it's just something that I am very happy to be partnering with. So make sure you go check them out. Moving on to some sourdough again, I am feeding my starter. This is one that I have in the fridge. I'll pull it out uh, every couple weeks or so, kind of goes in spurts, but I've had this starter now for, well, I think since March or so. I made it myself, so I've been trying to keep it alive. And incidentally, in this video, I didn't film it, but I almost, <laughs> almost could have destroyed it, but Never fear, it is very hearty and it is still going. So I enjoy making things with sourdough, but I wanted to make some sourdough bread. And also I made regular bread as well. So the two loaves you'll see here uh, are just regular like white bread. And I got that one from the cookbook Aprons and Spices. So this is what it looks like. It is by Ann Troyer. She has an Etsy shop. Uh, I think I'm actually kind of related to her husband but she's got some really good recipes in here and I think it's under $20 at the moment. So uh, it's a really good price, maybe even for uh, Christmas gifts or something, but I will have this linked in the description box. Everyone needs a shoulder to cry on. Everyone needs a helping hand. Everyone needs someone to rely on. Yes, everyone needs a friend. So let's come together, celebrate each other, stand united as one. We lift our hands up and pray, lay all our love before Him with all of our faith. He is the change within us. There is a So I wanted to give a quick shout out to a company that I love. Nick has been buying some of these things for his realtor client gifts. These are custom made, Amish made and owned. They put a lot of time into this and they actually just kind of like started this up in their garage. So they have an Etsy shop and they're a smaller business which I always love supporting. Uh, you guys see this cutting board all the time. This one has the Urban Oaks Design Co. engraving. They can do whatever you want in there. And then Nick has like a real estate logo on this one. They do have a bit of a lead time so make sure you go check them out pretty soon if you're wanting things for Christmas. They do have a 10% off discount which I will put the code on the screen and then also in the description box. You'll find that underneath the title of the video. So definitely go check them out. 
We know the owners personally and they're super nice and yeah, I would love if you guys would check them out. So I am doing a batch of applesauce this morning. Uh, Detweiler's has ginger gold apples, which is what uh, we used to prefer when we did applesauce more in Ohio. Uh, this is gonna be a smaller batch. We don't eat a ton of it uh, ourselves, but I like to have some on hand and I freeze it. I don't usually can it. I canned a little bit last year, but I just like the slushy applesauce. And plus I don't have a ton of canning space, so it works out. So these take some sugar. I don't remember how much it's gonna take, but I'm going to be cutting them into fourths taking the seeds out and stem, and then I'll cook them like normal, uh, and then I'll run them through my Ninja blender, skins and all. And we did that last year. My grandma said she had started doing that, and it's a lot easier process than getting out the whole big Victorio strainer, and you don't have to core everything with that, but I'm not doing a huge amount anyway, so this is a lot more doable, no. just do little, little sections of it. So, that's the plan for today. I have. I don't know, several dozen probably. So I'll see how much it makes. I may end up going and getting more. It's a really cool morning here in Florida for October. Yesterday we had a cooler day. This morning was like 68. So it definitely even feels like fall here. <laughs> I know that doesn't sound like fall for the northerner, but it's just such a blessed change in temperature, so. Okay, so these look done. I think I'm most likely gonna drain a little bit water. Oh, let's see. These are pretty much done too. I need to tone that down a little bit. Literally the easiest way of doing it in my opinion. You get all of the nutrients from the apple skin and everything. And you pretty much can't tell. So I like for mine to be a bit thicker. I had a bit too much liquid. So the next batch I'm gonna try and drain more. It's plenty thin. Plus I'm still gonna need to add sugar mix the two batches together and hopefully it'll kind of like even itself out. <laughs> and now I'm going to let it cool a while. I don't want to put it in containers right away because it needs to be cool before we put the lids on stuff, so I'll let it cool off, stir it occasionally, but that is it. So these are quart containers, and I know it's not a big batch, but honestly, we don't even use uh, one a week, and so I think I have a few in the freezer yet, and this will be good. Just small batches, manageable amounts, and especially if you don't have a lot of storage, this is great. It is so easy to do it this way. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it made sense. Until next time, may God bless you.